Welcome everyone to the channel again. Uh, so I hope you have gone through the procedure of the Anglo Eastern form filling that uh, I have recently posted. Now I'm moving forward to the form filling procedure of AMIT. AMIT is the Academy of Maritime Training and Education. It is situated in uh, Chennai. Okay. So let us see how to go through that. Firstly, you must know the UG courses that uh, AMIT provides you. Uh, it is B.Sc. in Nautical Science, Diploma in Nautical Science and uh, B.E. that is Bachelor's in Engineering. Uh, please take note of one thing that uh, in Bachelor's of Engineering uh, and uh, DNS and Diploma, you will get the uh, degree from the Amit University, not Indian Maritime University, which means that Amit is not affiliated to IMU. Okay? But that doesn't mean you don't have to give IMU CET for uh, the courses. You have to give the IMU CET. So this is your website. You open it. Now, as I have told you in the previous video also, you must go through all the procedure of uh, uh, the companies and everything through the website firstly and then should trust any YouTube video or anything else. So here in this website, what you have to do is just have to click on the admission 2024 and 2025. All these things is necessary for you. So first go through these, then these announcements, then MERSC admission recruitment device. MERSC will only take for BSc, bishops uh, for BSc as well as DNS fleet management for uh, DNS only volume for BSc and these all things you don't need to check. Okay. Fees, fees is also here. So BSc and BE fees is there, but uh, BTEC fees is not there. Sorry, DNS fees is not there. So in DNS, it will be around 4.25 lakh rupees for one year. All right. Now just read all these and then you can see these two courses. Uh, AMET IST, it is the name of the campus, MERSC Excellence and uh, UG courses for diploma in uh, and this. So um, just to, um, know one thing, AMIT uh, uh, releases two forms basically. Firstly will be the bachelor's in engineering or BTEC uh, and the second course will be BSc in nautical science. DNS is a different one. Now MERSC is going to release their separate form. So if you don't fill the form here, and you fill the form of MERSC there, which is free of cost, it will be equally applicable, but uh, you will definitely get a call from MERSC that, uh, not MERSC, you will definitely get a call from AMET rather there to fill the form of uh, this one also. Uh, basically, it will cost you twice. So 1023 plus 1023 rupees. 1023 is the uh, form filling price of AMET. Okay, now once you do that, uh, even if you click on this one or this one, you will be redirected to a, uh, something like this. You fill your name here because you have to register, not login. Then your email address, your phone number, uh, both of them. One is mandatory, one is not. Then your state you have to select from here, your city from here, the programs that you are interested in, uh, DNS, UG, UG lateral. UG lateral is BTEC Marine Engineering lateral entry in the second year. UG means D, uh, diploma in not, not diploma, sorry. Now uh, UG means BSc in nautical science or uh, bachelor's in engineering and DNS means diploma in nautical science. Okay, so you just click on interested program and uh, select the course diploma and select the specialization that is nautical science. If it is UG, then you can choose from here. Take okay? a BSc in nautical science. And if it is UG lateral, then you can choose bachelor's in engineering which engineering you want to choose, so marine engineering. And then you click here and register. Once you do that, you'll get something like this on your email address. Okay, thank you for registering at AMIT. Uh, now you just click on the validate email so that your email can be validated. Once validated, you will again get an email something like this. Your ID and password is mentioned here. Okay, your ID and your password. But you don't need to write this ID and password. Uh, where to write this ID and password if you want to? Here. Okay. Uh, otherwise, what you can do, straight away click on this link or uh, retype it or uh, copy and paste it to the browser. And so you will be redirected to a website like this. Uh, this is your dashboard, uh, your profile actually. Here, 
in this form you will be uh, allowed for each and every company that comes as a key volume for bsc v ships for bsc and btech uh, if you fill the dns form then fleet management mmsi came last time uh, v ships came last time for dns so everything happens from this in this ug form in musk excellence center uh, application form this is only for musk musk bsc and musk btech okay but let us wait for the musk to release their form separately external form aata to fill from there so you will be redirected to a website like this uh, this is your dashboard uh, your profile actually here you have two options your ug application form or your musk center of excellence application form now if you click on this ug application form what you will get is something like this now here you have a few options uh, if you click on ug lateral entry then bachelor's engineering and you can choose your engineering branch if uh, ug entry then you can choose your course as bsc and nautical science if you want to go for engineering then choose this one if you want to go for dns that is dns form filling then you can click on diploma and specialization is nautical science here your name your uh, first name your uh, middle name your phone number your email address it is automatically filled then your date of birth you have to fill here your gender you have to fill here blood group you have to fill here religion uh, choose yours nationality is indian fisherman community yes or no uh, residential status rural urban rural means uh, village urban means city state uh, sorry caste this is fc means forward caste theek okay? hai backward caste mbc obc sc st and others so forward cast no whether hostel required yes or no if you want to live in the hostel say yes sports achievement if you have if you don't have say no are you aware of the fee structure uh, it is there in the website itself uh, as you uh, have seen here uh, if you click so after that uh, you have this your uh, passport if you fill no not a problem if you fill yes then they will ask you some details of your passport if you don't have it it will no then your aadhar card details so it is a 12 digit number here uh, after proceeding further you will get your parents details that is you have to write your father's name father's full name must be mentioned here theek okay? hai that is your first name and the second name and here your, your father's email id must be mentioned then uh, father's phone number father's occupation these are not mandatory things okay agriculture business uh, anything other is then click on other and uh, select it so yeah father's annual income it is again mandatory here you have to write it uh, approximate figures so if your dad earns 8 lakh rupees per month you uh, click uh, you mention 8 lakh then your mother acha if what not unfortunately your father is not there then you can write the annual income of your family here okay mother's full name must be mentioned here mother's email id must be mentioned here mother's occupation must be mentioned here homemaker is the option again mother's annual income if yes then write it it is not mandatory to fill phone number is also not mandatory where the email address is also not mandatory so whatever is not mandatory you don't need to fill then after that you can click on next uh, now once you move forward you have your address so uh, just select everything you write your date uh, sorry you write your district city state country it's automatically done uh, from the registration that you have done then address line 1 address line 2 uh, your pin code must be mentioned here then is your permanent address uh, same as correspondence or communication address means uh, are you living on a permanent address if yes click on yes if no then click on this and then mention where you are living right now okay your rental address or anywhere else once you have done with it click on next and you will be further proceeded to the educational details uh, in educational details please mention your class 10th uh, then your class 10th uh, bihar board and everything it is already mentioned here cbsc must be there central board of and cisc is for icsc then the year of passing of class 10th say it's 20 then the marking scheme is percentage write whatever your percentage was it was overall 
आफ्टर टेंथ क्वालिफिकेशन क्या है तुम्हारा ट्वेल्थ सो जस्ट मैंशन योर स्कूल नेम से एक्स वाई जेड स्कूल्स एड्रेस यू हैव टू फाइंड इट फ्रॉम द स्कूल्स ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट देन यू विल गेट देर वेर वॉज द स्कूल लोकेटेड द डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ द स्कूल now once it is done then you find the pin code of your school uh, and write it then the examination board uh, which was it uh, say it was cisc theek okay. hai so find it out from here and mention it your stream science your results awaited or declared so those who are an appearing candidate they can click on awaited those who are uh, uh, results are declared they can click here those giving the improvement must click on awaited exam here then this is the examination registration id that is the roll number uh, of yours uh, or whatever is it in your mark sheet apne mark sheet ke hisab se bharna hai then when you will be passing 2020 you pass here to must be 2022 if you are regular candidate if uh, improvement 2023 okay or 2024 as uh, your cases now specific entrance examination center they are asking for it but uh, i have never seen that uh, they uh, take examination in centers so the centers closest to me is patna so i'll put there so, uh, specify score je cet any so if you click on je then they will ask you if you click on cet then they will ask you what is the cet number cet is i am you cet okay so if uh, when did you pass the cet all these things are there so Uh, fill it accordingly. It's not mandatory. You don't need to do that. Okay. So yes, I'm just uh, putting it as a sample. So don't fill one, two, three, and all anywhere. Okay. Write your school's name. Then you are moving further. You have this uh, application approximately completed, I guess. So. So I'll ask you for some documents and all. Uh, here in these documents, uh, only one thing is mandatory: your recent photograph. Other things are not mandatory. Okay. Now you can move forward to the, yeah. It will look something like this. Check everything twice, and then you move to the payment option. Once you move to the payment option, you get the fees of one zero two three point six zero rupees. You can go further for the payments, uh, computers and all. So cyber cafe में तुम्हारा हो जाए. now let us come to another part let's go back to the dashboard we have here this is 100% complete now this is for musk excellence center okay this is this is form for musk so i don't know what uh, they are thinking or what uh, why they have made this but uh, this is what it is you have to select uh, and fill different form for mos client this time so it's on your choice if you want to fill or you can wait for some days and fill uh, you can join the imu mates group agar if it is if it will be mandatory we will definitely inform you if you have to fill this form or not if you want to fill this form to be on a safer side you have to just give 1023 rupees uh, it will be your you know plus point you won't fail uh, Uh, later on that you didn't fill the form and that was the reason for i am not selecting you acha just after that uh, please go through the uh, all the criteria of the company not after that actually before that so it's not updated here yahan pe hona chahiye tha uh, 2023 and 2024 appearing theek hai this is not updated so yes you will get an idea about what are the eligibility and uh, everything for v ships and everything uh, all the companies so v ships company we have seen the eligibility uh, by this you we come to the end of the video if you have any doubts please uh, ping me up in the comment section and uh, so that was all about uh, the amet form filling procedure thank you and have a nice day